Yeah. Grown man business. All right. Got another episode of Red Ghost Sports Talk. I'm your host, Red Ghost. And uh, we got, what, 11 more days to Super Bowl 50. Denver Broncos. Carolina Panthers. Can't wait, baby. I can't wait. All right. Um, <laughs> a little try while, while I try to get big. All right, anyway, let's, we're going to talk about Carolina Panthers, baby. Uh, we're going to get in detail, man. Because uh, Carolina Panthers, hey, they did it without the number one wide receiver, Kelvin Benjamin. Big time wide receiver, man. A future star. It's his second year in the league. He came from Florida State where he won the championship with uh, Jameis Winston. And I just hated that he just missed the whole season, man, not being a part of this uh, this crazy season with Carolina Panthers. But, you know, they made it to the Super Bowl, so, you know, he is practicing, getting healthy. He'll be ready for next year. But let's talk about Carolina Panthers, man, because uh, a lot of people don't know how dangerous they really are. Uh, they say I was, you know, I'm scared to see Carolina Panthers play Denver Broncos. I'm not, man. I just, uh, I just thought it'd be better. I thought it'd be better to, a better game with Arizona and, and Carolina. Uh, you know, as far as what I've seen this year between both teams, I thought it'd be closer than that. But you know, congratulations to Carolina Panthers and the Panthers fans, man. It's going to be a great Super Bowl. It's going to be a war, man. It will not be a blowout. Uh, I had some Carolina uh, Panther fans. Uh, come on my page, come on my channel, talk a little trash to me. One guy said, uh, we was, Denver was going to lose by 17 points. I predicted the score was going to be 28 to 24. I changed that now just because of him. He made me mad. 21 to 24, Denver Broncos, Super Bowl 50. Well, let's talk about um, Carolina Panthers, man. Because uh, we know Cam Newton, you know, he is the, the, the heart and soul of that team, man, especially that offense. But he's a great leader. You know, he came from uh, Auburn, where they won the championship uh, in 2010, you know. Uh, and they, they they brought that offense to Carolina as well, you know, that uh, zone read option. And that's where he's very dangerous at. But at the same time, this league now is, is building, over, building off of tight ends now. You know, uh, Aaron Hernandez. Uh, Big Gronk, you know, even my boy Julius Thomas, where he's at uh, Jacksonville Jaguars now. Uh, they should have kept him in Denver because we definitely need him. But I like that that other guy now. Uh, I think his name's Daniels. I like him, man. Vernon Davis still pissing me off. They put him in the game for, I think, one play. He dropped the ball. <sighs> crazy, man. That's crazy. But anyway, that zone read option is dangerous, man. You got Cam Newton. He's bigger than most linebackers. Then you have Jonathan Stewart. He's been healthy all season. And he really been dominating this whole year. And he took the full role of running back. He's not sharing it with uh, DeAndre Williams anymore. De DeAndre Williams is with uh, Pittsburgh. So, and he's been shining, Jonathan Stewart. So, you know, he, he, you know, he used to have uh, issues with injuries, but he's been healthy this year. So that's, you know, that's been dangerous for, um, for any other team playing against Carolina, you know, which it shows. But don't forget about Greg Olson. He's a University of Miami alumni. My favorite college team, baby. The U. He used to win, winning. He used to win the championship. All right. He has had back-to-back -back 1,000 yards, 1,000 plus yards rece uh, receiving. <laughs> That's crazy. Two years in a row, just 1,000. A reception yards, man. Plus, 1,000 plus yards. All right, the head coach, Ron Rivera, he became famous with his uh, his aggressive fourth down, um, fourth, uh, aggressive style fourth down plays. He goes for it, and I like that. You know, especially when it's championship time, you got to go for it, man. You cannot punt. You can't play field position. You can't play the time clock. Go for it, baby. So I like that. Um, like I said, man, Jonathan Stewart, you know, he's been healthy all season, man. And uh, he's, he's became a workhorse. You know, I always seen it in him when, when it was him and De'Angelo Williams. 
I, I kind of like DeAndre Williams a little better when he was with the Panthers, and I still do, but Jonathan Stewart is not a pushover, man. He is a serious threat. He is a serious threat, and Seattle will tell you that firsthand. All right, the Panthers, they have won three straight division titles and and posted up a a, 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 a lead, um, leading regular season record uh, at 15-1. For 2015 season. All right. People keep talking about um, Lou Keekly. I like him. He's a good um, linebacker. But the guy to watch out for is Thomas Davis. Yeah, Thomas Davis. He came in, uh, drafted to the Panthers as a safety. And this was back in 2005, I think. Uh, I believe so, 2005. And... Uh, you know, they moved him over to strong side, linebacker. Then they found a home for him on the weak side because he's very aggressive and he's very good against that pass um, protection, that pass coverage, man. He tore his ACL three times in three years before returning to the Panthers in 2012. So it's good that he's been healthy this year also. Uh, he has been dealing with some injuries too, so... Uh, you know, that, that that tells you right there, man. Just because you've been injured, your career is not over, man. He's a living proof of that. RG3, remember that. All right, Ron Rivera, he's the fourth head coach in Panthers franchise history. He was fired from the Bears as the defensive coordinator back in 2006. 2006 is when they went to the Super Bowl and played Indianapolis Colts against Peyton Manning and lost. That's when Devin Hessel was there. That's when... Um, What's my boy name? Um, he could the worst quarterback in history, man. Um, Rex, um, whatever his name was, it was something Rex or Rex something. But he was one of the worst quarterbacks. Came from Florida, from the Gators. All right, he was the defense coordinator with the Chargers in 2010 when they finished the lead. Uh, the Chargers defense finished 10th in, in points allowed. That's good, man. Uh, he took a 50% pay cut compared to John Fox. John Fox was there before him. Uh, he left, and he inherited a 2-14 and 14, uh, Carolina Panthers team. Uh, where the quarterback back then was uh, Jimmy Clausen. All right, in 2011, the Panthers, they went past Von Miller. They skipped Von Miller. They skipped J.J. Watt, where they could have got both of them. And they went with... Superman Cam, Cam Newton, baby. Cam Newton was the number one pick overall. Von Miller was the number two pick overall. In the 2011 draft pick, baby. That's crazy. All right, man, tell me what y'all think, man. Hope y'all like the video. Let's share this video. Let's uh, click the like button, comment. Let's keep growing, baby. I appreciate the love and support, man. It's a beautiful day. It looked like it's trying to rain, but it's still a beautiful day. Super Bowl 50, man. Denver Broncos, Carolina Panthers, Super Bowl 50. Grown man business. Grown man business. Damn my bitch. <laughs> Grown man business. Damn my bitch. Mr. T with the bees. Mm -hmm. Mr. T with the bees. Mr. T with the bees. Yeah. yeah. Denver Broncos. Denver. Broncos. Denver. Carolina Panthers. Denver. Super Bowl 50. Super Alright, say hi. Hi. Wait. <laughs> That's a future running back right there. Grown man business. Grown man business.